We had a big week ahead as I recorded this video. This grocery shop was not only for us, but also for Zane's family who was coming to visit. We wanted to make sure we had everything we wanted and needed in order to be good hosts. For $150, I would say we did a pretty good job at this grocery haul. On Sundays, we always go into the city until it's dark to go to church, go out to eat, and go to Winco. We like to let the kitties know we're thinking of them by getting them a toy. It's so sweet to see them play with them and have so much fun with them. Now it's time to tackle this project I've been thinking about for a while. I'm gonna take these closet organizers out and replace them with some shelves. These closet organizers I got from Dollar Tree and I just screwed them to the ceiling. They worked for the good year and a half that we've lived in here so far, but as you can see, they're a little bent, they're hard to get into, they started losing their shape. I'm just ready to rip them out. Before I put these things in here, all that was in here was a hanger rack. And we already have hanger racks in our other closets by the bed, so we didn't need more space for hanging clothes. We needed more space for pants and shorts and things like that. I also love how most things I've gotten for this closet have been from Dollar Tree, so I never spend too much money when I am getting a new setup, and that makes it easy for me to rip it out and throw it away because I know that it wasn't that much money. I decided to go with stackable shelves for this setup because I already had two from about a year ago from the Dollar Tree Plus section and I knew where I could find two more. I like that they are stackable because I knew that I could get the perfect amount for the perfect amount of space in order to have our closet be set up exactly the way that I want it to be. Now I'm going to repurpose one of these old hanging closet things and cut a few boxes off because I only need a little bit of space from this one. I'm going to screw it to the ceiling again. I know, so professional. But this will only be temporary for maybe the next year or two while I figure out the next plan. I decided I needed to cut off another box because I didn't just want it hanging into this little basket shelf that I have going on. So yes, I think this is the perfect amount of space for my closet. I finally have enough space for my clothes. I won't be struggling to get them out. Just look at how beautiful it is. So beautiful yet practical. I'm honestly surprised at how much I was able to get done before going into work, but I work in about an hour and 10 minutes, so I figure I don't really have time to put the clothes back in right now, but I will just throw them all out in our clothes pile in the living room and call it good for right now and get back to it when I have the time. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, these clothes sat on my floor for at least a few days, but I really have to be in the right mindset to do this much laundry. Can you really blame me? I made this beef stew, but I didn't show the finished result because this video is actually a little all over the place and so many different days. So I zoomed my booty to work and then a few days later I got to folding the laundry. See, I thought I was gonna post a video last week, but then with everything going on, I realized like it's okay to just skip a week. Nobody's putting so much pressure on you besides yourself. It's not that deep. I'm making like 10 bucks a video, okay? I do this because I love it and I love you guys. She ain't the cutest, but she'll get the job done. Look at that. Doesn't it look so good? It just looks like it has a lot more space in it. I do get more closet cubbies than Zane because I just have more clothes. I decided to gear up and go to the gym. First, I propped the door open so that Zane and the kitties had fresh air for me to go and spend time with myself. I don't know if anybody else likes to enjoy spending time with themselves, but I just wanted a nice drive to the gym by myself. Look at this view, look at that fog. It was so foggy, but so pretty. I've been working on my contortion again lately. I'm not nearly as deep as I used to be, but I am proud of the progress that I've been making from practicing consistently again at the gym. I have been getting into my little flows and that's enough for me. Zane met me at the gym and then we stopped at the grocery store on the way home. I got a little chicken strip baskets cause they're on sale this week. 
friend, I told you that this video was all over the place. I didn't film any more that day because we had a bed rot day where we just laid in bed, watched TV, ate chicken, didn't even have a real dinner, let the house just be a mess, and that's why I'm making my coffee in an absolute atrocious mess. You can judge me if you want, but you know, I'm just being for real with you guys. When I clean, I like to put the kitties outside, and they like to be outside too. This is their little kitty box and they love it. It's just like their front little patio chill area. I had to give myself a day where I didn't do anything because I knew that it would give me so much motivation today to wake up and get absolutely everything done. First, I had to enjoy my caramel coffee. We switched it up from mocha and now we're doing caramel and that's personally my favorite. The amount of dishes that I had to do was actually crazy, so I took a break in between and finished dumping the toilet. I pulled the black tank and then I did some dishes and then I pulled the gray tank so that I could flush all the rest of the black tank water out of that sewer hose. I'm also so grateful that ripping the dinette out works so perfectly for having Zane's family over because we just put the air mattress right there for his little brother and then his mom slept on the futon and I was able to get a mattress topper for the futon. When we picked them up from the Seattle airport, we took them to this really nice pizza restaurant, which was really, really good. And then we just kind of hung out at the camper. We went and we saw some beautiful views and the boys went fishing. We played some board games and we just had fun together. And now how could I forget about the hot tub? Of course we used the hot tub. So we really didn't do anything to clean up that whole weekend. That's why everything was just such a mess when I finally got to it because right after we dropped them off at the airport, I had to go to work. We dropped them off at 8 a.m. and then I had to be at work at 11. So it worked out really perfectly, but by the end of my three day work week, I was so exhausted. So I just needed to sleep for a full day and then tackle everything that needed done. The amount of dishes though, atrocious. I got this little chalkboard menu from the Dollar Tree and isn't it so cute? Now I can write down my menu for the week ahead and plan my grocery shopping in accordance with it. I also made sure that I put all my laundry in piles because if I don't put it on the floor in piles like this, it won't get done. Hey friends! So here's what I'm having for lunch. I've got a double decker chicken sandwich with cheese in the middle and some pineapple. I thought this was so funny because I really tried to make this a seamless transition. Thought we were gonna go on a little adventure, but it's gonna have to just be a drive because it gets dark at like 5 p.m. now. So good thing all the drives around here are absolutely beautiful. So now we think we're just gonna go get a drink at the bar down the street and then come back and cook dinner. I'm really just out here trying to enjoy my 20s and have a good Friday night, especially because I don't work tomorrow. And she posted the schedule for next week. Sorry, I'm just doing laundry before I go. She posted the schedule for next week and I guess I'm only working three days next week too. As long as I've got rent paid, I am good. We are good. really good. I didn't make potatoes because we already ate french fries. So I think that this will be perfect for tonight. Last night we didn't have any real food for dinner. So my body is craving this. I'm really proud of how much I was able to clean today and how clean it is. Oh, it makes me so happy. Now all I have to keep doing is tackling the laundry beast. 
But anyways, I'm gonna go enjoy my food and watch our show. We've been watching Lost lately. And if you know, you know. Anyways, thank you friends for sticking till the end and I'll see you next week.